What up? I'm back with another one. You know what the fuck? Oh, man. Not again. You know the moments I be doing? Hey, it's legendary. It's circulating. It's in circulation. It's in rotation. I might as well do it, right? Correct. Look, we got Cat Williams unleashed. Club Shay Shay. Other side of Kirk Franklin prank. <laughs> I know they gonna kill me for that one right there. Shout out to Nipsey Hustle. New Nipsey Hustle, check me out. Ah. Hey, for one, when the fuck this nigga Cat William just decided to just pop out with dreads? Is it real or fake? Because this nigga, he always kept his hair like, like, like it was always right here. Did he start stressing or what? Because I ain't never seen Cat Williams hair above the, the earlobe. But hey, what do I know? Hello, welcome to another episode of Club Shay Shay. I am your host, Shannon Sharp. I'm also the proprietor of Club Shay Shay, the guy that's stopping by for conversation in the drink. Okay, today. cool, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna love it. Let's get so into the shit. The greatest, the greatest, one of the greatest comedians, dead or alive, one of America's greatest entertainers, one of the funniest men on the planet, world renowned, multi talented, a comedy legend. He's touring to. I, I ain't gonna hold you. It was a lot of random accolades that we just given out. We just can't give out random accolades. I fuck with Cat Cat Williams, but we just a world renowned. Who said this? Who who said it? This, this random accolades. We was in the, the the sores trying to figure out these accolades. The top touring comedian selling out arenas. He's mm. a hilarious storyteller. Okay. Any award winning actor, voice actor, rapper, writer, producer, director. I ain't never heard no Cat Williams voice actor. <laughs> We we given we given participation points at this point. Participation points. Let me know. Icon genius, a national tre treasure. For this nigga said an icon genius. This participation points. We need to leave some of this shit out because let me come to the show and you giving me random participation points. Just this this just say I'm here at this point. Fuck out of here. Humanitarian, social activist, a father, one of the great funny men of our generation and any generation. To say a man, a per to, to say a person is a father, this is a random achievement. It's a random achievement. We already starting off with the random achievement awards. We a minute in and already giving niggas a random achievement awards. The fuck is going on? Um, Shannon Sharp? Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you, sir. I They're fuck with Cat Williams. You are, you are, you are magnificent at intros, and you did not skimp on mine. I appreciate it. That's appreciate right. It. You know, anytime you come to Club Shay Shay, we have to toast. Yes, bro, you've been doing it. I mean, you told you one of the top tour. You're the t one of the top tour comedians of all time. You already got started before we started taping. Mm. I did. Appreciate that. Tell people at home. I thought they was lying. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this particular alcohol. What the, f what, what, what is the alcohol at choice? Because that looked like it had a kick. <laughs> like, pause. I, why I do that? I don't, look it. Pause. We, 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 come on. We, we wrapping it in rolling. It's stronger than you think it would be, probably by about two. And I unbelievably smoother and milder by the same maybe 30% than you could possibly expect. And unlike cognacs the world over, okay. this one doesn't taste like wood at the end. And it doesn't taste Pause. like it's got artificial colors. And it doesn't taste like it's got artificial flavors. Fuck all the hyping up this liquor. Let's get into the bullshit. Like, come on. We we did not sign up for the nonsense. We I didn't care about this. It don't have a level of wood and all. 
Like, no, we, we, I came for the bullshit. Like, where is that? Like, damn. Two minutes, three minutes in and we already on bullshit. Uh, it's a, it's a fine product. He's a connoisseur, you can tell. He's a connoisseur, he's a cognac connoisseur. He no, understands. I don't care the about that. that goes into making cognac. Right. Well, as a comedian, you get free drinks at the club. <laughs> so all comedians either turn out to be connoisseurs right. like myself right. or straight up and down alcoholics <laughs> like 60% of Hollywood. <laughs> okay. Let's get into the bullshit, well, though. Thanks for stopping by the club. I understand you. that you're very, very busy. And for you to take time out of your busy schedule and stop in today, we really, really appreciate yeah. you at the club, Shay Shay. Thank so thanks you. for yeah, stopping yeah. by that. And I needed you to know why I came by. Yeah, I need you to tell I need why. to know why we people here, too. I don't go everywhere. I'm okay. not interested in talking to people. Hey, the last time I heard Cat Woman did it did an inter interview was, was, was when he did the shit to the girl on the, um, the radio. And they, they had a little roast battle. Bye. That is the last time I known for him to pop out. So we got a three hour interview and he popping out. Mm. What we doing? Unless it's like a Larry King or somebody of an amazing ilk that I would actually want to go talk to in real life. Okay. okay. Um, I don't do it so I can sell product and I got things to sell. So let me come talk. Um, you have a great product here and as a fan base we love the attention that you spend on the guest we we love how much work you've done how i don't know about all that the the attention the work he invested with the guest this is my first time popping in the club shay shay how y'all doing like but let's get into the bullshit let's get into the bullshit Oh, you know them, how prepared you are. The same things that we liked about you in football. <laughs> you brought that on over to here. Okay. And that's uh, why it resonates in the re Me personally, it just looked like, you know, like, we over here propping up this person and propping up that person. Let's get into the bullshit. Me personally. But, okay. We, we could sit around for the accolades, like, oh, my God, you did this. Ah... I love you in football. Uh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. We can sit around for it. But I'm just saying, I'm here for it. I had to come is because you made a safe place for the truth to be told. Okay. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate and that. And I have watched all of these lowbrow comedians. Liars. I, oh, but he said that he watched the, the, the comedians. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Shannon Sharp for having all the the comedian, but I I looked at it like, yo, I watched all the shows. That's a liar because there ain't no way in hell, in my opinion, you can watch all the shows that popped out. No, no, no. Me personally, it's no way in hell you could watch every last show that came out. You're a liar in my opinion. But we're on. I, my apologies. We're going to finish. Listen to what he had to say. Is come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. I'm talking okay. about things that have never been heard in all of black Hollywood. They feel comfortable sitting here lying to you about it. Okay. You set the record straight? Are you kidding me? Let's you set the record Ricky straight. Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth. You oh. stole Friday after next. The one I was in. <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled. I, I want to know personally that did, did Shannon Sharp had his had his talking points and we gonna see who created the narrative me personally I just want to know like did he come with his talking points like oh I want to talk about this oh yeah and did did he take over the whole narrative because if he turned if he took over the whole narrative that's crazy in my opinion when that happened and, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in hollywood you ain't say nothing this man told you he had cat williams role he was gonna be money mike Wait. and cat <laughs> williams 
was gonna be <laughs> was gonna be the Santa Claus. Now let's three quick points. Three. You Come on, in three. Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh one hundred and forty five pounds. That's Facts. your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. Okay. He was gonna play the pimp. Talk your shit. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man. Well, I didn't know he. Hold up. When when did when did Ricky Smiley play a woman? I I don't I don't remember. Like when what? I'm lost. When, when did he play a woman? Comment down. Look before we continue. Comment down below when you y'all knew he played a woman. Cause I don't remember when he played a woman be able you wouldn't let a, 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 a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats okay <laughs> ricky smiley can't act because ricky smiley can't act Facts. i told you the story about when the movie came out where did he say he watched it at home he wasn't even at the premiere you telling this man you stole that oh so he can get his name in the same sentence mm. with a great one okay it's sad he was just that bitter when we were did he did he i think he did his homework because this nigga popped out with the facts the factual i still don't know what movie this nigga um ricky smiley played a woman but he came out with some facts because you can't talk about the great if you shooting up steroids you can't talk about the grace if you had a pass in my opinion in his opinion too because this is how he came. Pause. He told everybody, it should have been my role. Everybody on the scene. Why do you think no cast member has ever said anything? He couldn't have played that role like you. I thought he, he Sir, was... Sir, no one... Why no... He was with KD? He beat up Terry Crews? Why nobody know this story? You talking about in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he... What? <laughs> hey yo, look it. Hey yo, bit man, look it. We we getting somewhere, but we ain't getting nowhere because it's like a slow burn. It's a slow burn, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's a slow burn. We ain't we didn't get nowhere. We ain't learn nothing that we didn't know. So far, so far, I don't know about this man playing a woman. Um, we, I, I came for the facts, and the fact is, I don't know nothing. We're fucking what three minutes in, and I still don't know nothing. It was a like, oh, I appreciate you, I appreciate you contest. I don't care to hear this, you feel me, but. Hey, this is part one of a three-hour video. You feel me? If you fucking with the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Until next time.